Welcome back to Fat and Pajamas. <laughs> it's me. Oh god, it's me again. I have a sore throat and I do not feel good, so everybody's gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, especially me. <coughs> <coughs> Just, you know, pretend that, like, you're visiting some old Jewish ladies in New York. Coughing, hacking, complaining about life in general. Oh, uh, yeah, that just sounds like my house in, yeah. <laughs> my house in general. Okay. We're playing Banjo Tooie. And, um. Yeah, great game. I'm gonna rely on you for commentary. <laughs> okay. I kind of figured you would, so I just try to, you know, say whatever. I don't wanna play the game, so. What are you trying to do? I don't. Okay, I was trying to, like, get rid of the game files so uh oh we're uh, off to a great start uh, <laughs> yeah, very good. this is pay no attention to this yeah, this so, has this nothing is, to do with anything spoilers nobody needs to know what's going on in jinjo village just yet yeah mm. grape uh, juice do, is oh, delicious we don't get to <clears throat> see the cool game over screen. no mm -mm. when we're grundy becomes hot is that a thing yeah I don't remember this. Maybe that was in uh, Banjo Kazooie. I'm thinking so. Yeah, where she uh, steals the life force from Banjo's sister and becomes hot. I ten out of ten, play... best game ever. I... <laughs> uh, all right. Um. What do you What do you want to do? I'm trying to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta go over to the trash can. <coughs> <coughs> and then Banjo becomes a red lantern. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I would like to. This you is sure gonna be a great. Horse? Shut up. It's happening now. Okay. This I'm just is what you want. Like I'm mostly coughing because I'm trying to clear the painful, burning, seething in my throat. Yeah, that's actually the story of Banjo Tooie. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Clearing, you know, burning, seething. Banjo. Oh, slightly true. Do we want to do plot or not? <laughs> plot or not? Uh, there's not that much plot. It's just like an opening cutscene, just a little bit. That of That should have been our um. YouTube channel name, Plot or Not. Plot or Not. That'd be a pretty good name for a channel. Yeah, I'd, I'd say just let the cutscene run, just in case the people watching are curious about it. <clears throat> and they can read the text themselves. This is really fucking boring, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Look, that guy's having fun. <laughs> in the rain, freaking out. <clears throat> He's Igor, pretty much. Man, ain't nobody care about this. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's so we're just catering to what you want. It well, has yeah. nothing to do with the viewers. Maybe the viewers do want to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all three viewers. Mm. All three <laughs> all right. people want to watch it. Text to vote if you want to see this. <laughs> that includes that includes yeah. you, Jordan, Baby yeah, Jones you, Jr. Yeah, text your vote to five five five. That's just five, five five five. That's it. Yeah. And that's the number. Yeah, that's not five five five. Phil gets five 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 film. So that's why I've been getting those calls. You know, we got some gambling going on. This is very exciting. It's a bird in a backpack. How are you not excited? This needs to be like an Oracle Staff Halloween costume idea. <laughs> just the people of Banjo Kazooie. Yes, yeah, just everybody. Goes I call Banjo Mumbo. Uh, yeah, you would. I want the skull. I want to be Kazooie. Kazooie's my favorite. Yeah. You can be Kazooie, and you can hang out in uh, the backpack worn by our Banjo. I don't know who Banjo would be. It'd be Paco. <laughs> I would he's, totally... He's big, en he's big enough to do oh that. Oh my god, I would totally just ride around on Paco's back the entire day, <laughs> ordering everyone around. I just want to wear the skull. But I'm saying... <laughs> sure. Look, skulls are cool. Look at Overwatch. <laughs> so yeah, they were just you know, playing some games and... Then bullshit happens. Yeah. Just like always. Just like now. Just a drill comes through the side of the house. <laughs> like, oh god, god. oh it. god, you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> oh, with how shitty I feel, I'd be okay with that right now. Yeah. Like, go ahead, take me. Hide your cards, jackass. Like, they're, still, they're gonna <laughs> see it. <coughs> this is why you die. Oh, whoops, spoilers. <laughs> I would be okay with Bottles dying. Or whatever his name is. And Bottles does die. <laughs> That's I why I said spoilers. I never cared for him. Of course not. He sucks. But then he has like that sergeant cousin, whatever. Oh yeah, the military guy. Yeah, he's okay. I guess. 
We need somebody to be him too. Uh, it can be Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike should be fine with that. He should be fine with dressing up as a character he probably knows nothing about. He would. Actually, I think he has a hat too already, doesn't he? Maybe. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't yes. want to be Mama. I want to be Grundy. <laughs> She's the best. She's beautiful on the inside, and that's what counts. Mm. She also rhymes like Swamp Thing. <laughs> I also like um, in John Tron. You don't understand. She's from a different era. <laughs> <laughs> These two bitches. Yeah. Her sisters. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Insert obligatory Star Wars scream here. Oh yeah, the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> The King of Screams. The King of Screams. Uh, what is it called? The Wilhelm Scream. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Ah, there's just phlegm and burning and pain everywhere. Help me. Yeah. Help me, Mumbo. Well, take comfort in the fact <clears throat> that knowing that Mumbo is okay. Mm. I do. Oh shit, I forgot about Wumba. Who? I'd rather be Kazooie. Wumba. Wumba. The Native American chick? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's so fucking cool. She's the one that turns Kazooie into a dragon. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Kazooie's still my favorite because she's just such a smart ass. Yeah. And she's taking all the money. Oh, fuck yeah. I think Kazooie, like, was my first female role model as a child. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I want to be Kazooie. Like, she's a badass. Yeah. <coughs> My first male role model was Proto Man or Mega Man. So you would just show up, tell Mega Man a bunch of useless bullshit, and then leave. <laughs> Every now and then, you, you had to fight him. Man, that is just what you do as an opinion editor. <laughs> yeah, I just show up, say some useless bullshit, and then leave. <laughs> That's exactly what I do, actually. So yeah, they're bringing Grundy back to life. No, no. <laughs> yes. They have to. <clears throat> I did not suspect this in all, like, eight gameplays of this. Okay, then. You want to do commentary by yourself? Yeah. No, that's, that's basically what you were saying, right? Wait, come back. Oh, gross. Look at the granny panty taint shot we're getting here. Yeah, look at the jiggle. Oh, <laughs> oh what is jiggling down there? Everything. <laughs> and that's the worst part of it. <laughs> this is like a crock pot where all fluids are stewing. Huh. <laughs> mm. And she's a skeleton. The most powerful of forms. <coughs> I mean, Wishmaster would think so. Hmm? <clears throat> yeah, like the Because the saying, yeah, because the saying is, if it bleeds, you can kill it. But skeletons can't bleed, therefore, no killing. But they also can't be the victor. Uh, oh God, everything is bad. <laughs> no, I think it's a pretty good game. Oh no, just me. Yeah. I mean. What is he supposed to be, though? Like, is he a human? Or, like, a little animal or something? Cause I'm not like, sure. He's got, like, a colored chest piece, but he's red. I bet this game is just full well, of They fucking... just referred to him as Bony Man, so I guess he's also a skeleton. <clears throat> I just know that he's, like... I'm pretty sure that this game is just filled with so many fucking racial issues. <laughs> Like, he's, like, this typical red-skinned tribal guy. I guess. I don't know. And then Wamba is, like, the extremely stereotypical Indian, like, one feather popping out of her hair and everything. Yeah. I still thought she was badass. <coughs> Look, in a world of talking animals, anything's possible. Yeah. And anything goes. Especially when they can gamble. <laughs> Everyone's shit is fucked up. I cannot believe it. <laughs> 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 There's some bullshit going on outside. We might need to go. He's like, you know that uh, witch we killed? Yeah, she's back and she's a skeleton. She's even worse. No lie, though, like. And her rhymes are still on point. <laughs> now we know where Tupac really went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> he just went into hiding to, to write for fucking this bitch's words. Yeah. Wow, I can't. Use yeah, words. and Grundy was actually the one that shot him. 
I mean, I can see this. Rest in peace, Tupac. This opening cutscene's a lot longer than I remember. This is why I didn't want to do it. But now we know the detailed story. Like, most of our fucking episode is gonna be this bullshit. Nah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Say that name. Oh, yeah, that's why you died, because no, you're a dumbass. God. He died in the best way possible, alone. <laughs> alone and losing his yeah. money. <laughs> just, yeah. It'd be great if you see, like, it cuts back to the house and Kazooie's going back and taking the rest of his money and leaving. Hey, it's been a long time since I've played this. Did so you put your keys in your through. fucking shoes over there? Yeah. Because Pearl's trying to take them out, and I keep hearing jingling, and it's driving me crazy. Hey, it's fine. She can have the keys. Jeez. She can have the car. <laughs> if a cat can drive a car, they can have it. <clears throat> I mean, fuck these things. It's bad enough you're back in the world, and you throw all that bullshit out. Yeah. That respawns in, like, one second. The worst part is, it doesn't even have googly eyes, so it doesn't fit in with the rare aesthetic. I'd Eat like to discuss the googly eyes. that this is my fucking pretty much my favorite game for nintendo 64 really just one of my top five favorite games in the universe anyway so even yeah. though i'm giving it a lot of shit i play it's it out of love it is <coughs> <coughs> god damn it <laughs> all right we gotta go back and bury bottles no they don't fucking bury him fuck him they just let his spirit float yeah, out they, of the house that's what you said they just kick dirt over him and go eh, good enough <laughs> And then they take the jewelry off of his Kazooie body. Kazooie spits on him without anyone looking. <laughs> Turns out Kazooie's actually a vulture. Just starts eating them. <laughs> we all, we all knew. Even Banjo doesn't care. Like they were like best friends. Where's Goggle Boy? <laughs> yeah. Well, they made it in time for his funeral, at least. They're just chilling out of How long has he been day. smoking? Like it, that <laughs> happened last night. Mole looks much unwell. <laughs> like it's worse than that. Grundy's killed four bottles, and then the credits roll. That's the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> there is a cheer. <laughs> what I think is fucking hilarious is they never tell his goddamn family. Like, there's a scene in this game where you go to his family's house, you talk to his <laughs> wife and his children, and they're all like, where's daddy? When's my husband coming home? Why are you wearing his jewelry? Like, oh, no reason. Uh, <laughs> and he then, gave it to me. And then Kazooie keeps making these little dark comments in the <laughs> background, like, Good. well, don't expect him to come home for dinner anytime soon. And Banjo's like, Jesus, shut the fuck up. Like, Banjo refuses to tell the family that he's dead. Yeah, I really do like that in uh, the new game, uh, that's basically the spiritual successor to the Banjo Kazooie series, y Ukulele. Mm -hmm. That the two characters are just Banjo and Kazooie, personality wise. All right, now we get to play. <laughs> 